The 4 on one championship for 2022 has officially been decided. Master Zappin is a two-time Formula 1 champion. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. As expected, after a lot of chaos and a lot of crazy in this race, the race has been officially decided for the Japanese Grand Prix, and Max Verstappen was able to basically go ahead because they've got enough laps led in the race to be completed, and Max Verstappen has won the 2022 Formula Championship with scoring the victory in the Japanese Grand Prix, especially after Charles Leclerc has received a five points penalty, five position penalty on the grid for basically going ahead and I believe overtaking on the chicane if I'm not mistaken. This race could have definitely been handled a lot better when it comes to safety car, no doubt about that, but regardless of the situation, how that was handled, Max Verstappen is absolutely deserving of this championship in my honest opinion. Max Evan has had the second winning a season, I think, in Formula 1 history with 12 victories this year. It was likely either going to win the championship this weekend anyways or next or two weeks from now as surrogate Americas when we do run the United States Grand Prix. So in all serious and all honesty, Max has happened is definitely a deserving world champion. I do wish this is not the way it was handled, though. I would have loved for them for sure to have a little bit of a better way to decide a champion. But sometimes you can have these crazy situations and racing is going to be really, really nuts. You also can question what's the deal with the safety car being on the racetrack, why we had commentators from Sky Sports blaming basically Pierre Gassi for basically, you know, ha trying to catch up. Just don't understand the stupidity from Sky Sports, but it is what it is. And just there are better ways to definitely handle these races for sure, but at least we did get some laps in. We weren't to get, I think, every single lap in, but we did get some laps in. And you got to see guys like Mick Schumacher Lee and Fernando Alonso Lee. But like I said, for this year, in my opinion, Max is having is definitely a deserving world champion. And you know, at the beginning of the year, you look at what Ferrari was doing. They were putting up a really good fight for the championship. Unfortunately, though, Ferrari just kind of hit, kind of really messed it up near the middle of the year where their pitch strategy really kind of went out the window and their team really just lost an opportunity to go out there and win the championship. And that is why Verstappen was able to do what he was able to do. And could you imagine if he didn't have a couple of his DNS at the beginning of the year, he could have won this championship already really early in the year. Could have won last week or two weeks ago for that matter when we came back from the break. So in my opinion, he deserves his championship. It's been a really dominant year. Hope we see a season that is really unprecedented for it. It's been a while since had a dominant year. And you think about his age, too. I believe they said this he is the youngest two time champion in Formula One history at only 25 years in nine days. And also, Max Verstappen, he's got 32 career Formula One victories. The guy is just absolutely unstoppable, in my opinion, at the moment. And he's now going to be going to the United States Grand Prix looking for his 33rd career Formula One victory already being decided a championship. Look, like I said, at least it didn't turn to Spa 2021. I was very worried that this race was going to turn into Spa 21. But in all seriousness, in all honesty, I do want to send my congratulations to Max Verstappen on becoming the 2022 Formula 1 champion. He deserves it, in my opinion. I wish it would have been handled a lot better, but in my opinion, I do want to sincerely congratulate Max Verstappen on becoming your 2022 Formula 1 champion. I know that there's probably better ways, like I said, that could have handled it, but he deserves a championship, in my opinion. So congratulations to Max Verstappen on winning the 2022 Formula 1 title. So, that is getting our today's special F1 report. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on to be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. As for me on Patreon as well. Links are jumping below over that. And combo your thoughts on today's decision and Verstappen winning the championship. What are your thoughts on him winning the championship? Let me know in the comments below. Later this afternoon or later this evening, we're going to have the NASCAR Cup Series race to be from the Charlotte Robla as we'll talk about the round of 12 cutoff race as we decide who will be going to the round of eight or not besides Chase Elliott. Let me know in the comments below. Then on Monday, we're going to have a NASCAR news video and then Tuesday, we're going to race picks as well for Las Vegas. But now, I'm going to go get some sleep. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode and I'll see you guys next time for some more great awesome NASCAR and F1 content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.